This is about the people of Aotearoa. This is about our country. This is about saving lives and also making this whole environment that we all live in better for future generations. Meet Grant Muir, a Kiwi farmer turned inventor who's passionate about protecting our waterways. It was uh, when I arrived here 15 years ago, this river was teeming with fish. There was that many fish in it. Um, we had fishing rods at the door, you could always catch uh, a feed. And in the period of around about six years, I saw all of those fish and all that aquatic life die and disappear in the river. And that's what's motivated him to develop Riverwatch, a device that tests water quality in real time, sending the data back to the cloud or any smart device. The idea of it was to empower the, the public because at the moment everyone's feeling so disempowered around the water quality issue and what is actually happening is nothing. So the rivers continue to deteriorate, there's no mitigation of the pollution coming into the rivers and everyone just keeps on talking and absolutely nothing's happening. So the idea is to be able to build up a wireframe of water quality data. Riverwatch is just one of Muir's innovations. He and his team recently won an award from the World Wildlife Fund for another of their groundbreaking inventions. The real-time E. coli sensor will have a major, major impact on how we actually manage our water, how we actually manage our infrastructure requirements around farming and around towns and cities. And I can tell you right now that this isn't a townie versus farmer scenario. Both have equal responsibility in this because they're both pooing in the water. And until we can actually get some real-time measurements, then the public really don't know what's going on. Unfortunately, we can't show you the E. coli tester. It's still top secret, as he searches for $5 million in funding to launch the new technology. You know, there's a lot of money poured into various schemes by government. And to give you an example, 400 million a year going into irrigation projects and not one dollar going to, into any research and development to mitigate water pollution. So everything has been focused on a rip, shit and bust make as much money as quickly as you can and bugger the environment. This new government's inherited one hell of a mess, but there are a few silver bullets. And until they stop talking to the same old guard that were managing the previous government's problems, which they didn't manage very well, and start to talk to some of the new innovators like us, then they're not going to get ahead of this at all. Because if they don't work with the innovators and the new thinking, and they continue to work with this old boy network, then they're stuffed. And not only are they stuffed, but unfortunately, every single citizen of this country is stuffed because we are the ones that will suffer the results of that type of poor practice. As the government announces a battle to clean up our waterways, Muir could become our secret weapon. Alexander Robertson, Local Focus.